Hi, my name is David P. Shapiro. I'm the owner and managing partner of the law office of David P. Shapiro, located in San Diego, California, where my firm helps good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. In this video, I want to talk to you about what is an emergency protective order in San Diego and what this could possibly mean for your case if you're served with an emergency protective order. A lot of times people will be investigated for a crime, they'll ultimately be charged or they'll ultimately be arrested with a crime. And the time between the arrest and the actual first court date could be a couple of days, it could be a couple of weeks, it could also be a couple of months. And until your arraignment, until your first court date, assuming charges are actually filed against you, your accuser may not have any real protection if they want one to keep you away. So a lot of times we see this in domestic violence cases or in sexual assault cases where someone's investigated, they may be arrested, the first court date may be a couple of weeks away, but under law, without an emergency protective order, they could go right back to the house. They could be right around their accuser again. So what happens is with these emergency protective orders, a lot of times the cops, law enforcement, will ask the accuser, the alleged victim, hey, do you want us to try and get you an emergency protective order that will usually last a couple of days, usually up to a week or so. And what that does is buy some time where it's a piece of paper, but if followed, it keeps the accuser and the accused away from each other. So a lot of times clients will come to us, hey, I got arrested last week. I still have this emergency protective order issued in favor of my wife. I've had no contact with them or in favor of my husband, whatever the case may be. And then the issue is, right, you can't have any contact with them up until the expiration of that emergency protective order. The positive of actually being served with an emergency protective order is a lot of times the cops will need to put a little bit of a summary of what the accusations are in the, in the text area of that emergency protective order. So if you get served with it, that's something that you definitely want to send over to the law firm that you're potentially going to hire and in interviewing or meeting with so they can have an opportunity to look at it and will help them assess the case moving forward. One thing you also need to be aware of is as you near the end of that emergency protective order, you could also then be served with a civil, uh, whether it's a civil harassment or a domestic violence restraining order. That's technically a civil hearing, but it's something that'll give, the, give your accuser greater protection for a longer period of time and arguably a quote unquote permanent protection after a hearing of up to five years. But the emergency protective order is what you usually see between arrest and the first week after an arrest Whenever we're dealing with the domestic violence case, whenever we're dealing with the sexual assault case where the accuser wants immediate protection, cops make a pitch to a, to a judge who's on duty. A judge says yes or no. You're likely going to be served with it. Our approach is once you're served with it, let's embrace the fact, turn that negative into a positive. Let's utilize the information we could get from that emergency protective order, advise you accordingly, and put you in the best position possible given where we already are with your case. So if you have any questions, any further questions about an emergency protective order, if you've been served with emergency protective order after an arrest, you definitely don't want to just ride it out for a couple of weeks until your next court date. You want to be proactive. You don't want to be reactive. And you want to be proactive with a law firm that knows what they're doing, that represents clients day in, day out at a high level, and is known in the community for such service, and is known by the judges, and is known by the prosecutors. We are one of those firms in San Diego. We are just a phone call away. 619 295-3555.